smells like poop in here. It's going to be a glorious day. Hey YouTube, it's me Camper here. Look at all this dead tree cells. I think I did a woodworking project in here. I actually did last week. made a butcher block cutting board for that Cardinal Deluxe trailer that I have. 50 year old trailer, 51 year old trailer, camping trailer. Uh, and then I routed the bottom of the inch and a half butcher block. It was from a countertop from a kitchen I'd remodeled. I routed the bottom so it would fit over the burners perfectly to cover the stove uh, and be able to be used as a cutting block or surface. Oh, this is another project. Skippy grenaded the um, grenaded the engine in his Harley. Bent a valve, destroyed it. Just it it just ate itself. It had a ton of miles on it. We had it over here. I didn't take any video of it, but we had it over here. And uh, pulled the valve out. It's super bent. What are we doing here today? Pay attention. Focus, focus. Ah! Yes, here it is. Aye. There's some things I need to get done. And spring is right around the corner. This is the Honda engine off of the log splitter that I bought off of Craigslist, I don't know, three, four years ago. Paid about 125 bucks or something for that log splitter because it wasn't running. The guy said the engine had a rod knock. Um, didn't have a rod knock, but what it did have was low compression, and I knew that. I knew it had low compression, and I didn't do anything about it. I got it running, cleaned the carb. I got videos of that. Skippy and I, we dinked around with this thing. We cleaned the carb. We got it running. I used it for a few years. Busted up a lot of logs on it, put a lot of hours on this thing, and... Uh, Come December, middle of December, I was up there with Skippy. I got a video of it, but uh, we couldn't get this thing started. And uh, it has, no, you see, it has uh, no compression, essentially no compression. So we're going to break it down today. We're going to see what it needs. I'm hoping it just needs rings. I could be wrong. I need to change this. This is a little ghetto fabulous. Uh, but you know when the rope breaks and you're in the middle of the mountains and you don't have a parts store handy, you fig Oops. you don't have a parts store handy, you figure out what you got to figure out. That's the wrong rope. Oh, I hit the button just as I picked it up. Yeah, 55 pounds. That is not enough to start it. Oh, I got it up to 58 pounds. So 58 pounds. I'm gonna shoot some oil in the cylinder. And if we get a increase If we get an improvement in the compression, it's a cool old oil can, then it's rings. If there's no change, then it's valves. Give it zero. Yeah, wait, I got the correct paracord here for this. Feels different. A little bit. Oh, you stupid. Did you hear that? I did it again. So, it's 80. that
I've dealt with much uglier stuff. Much uglier indeed. Expecting worse. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly, but I was just thinking it'd be a little more funky. So I got the cap off. That looks really decent. There's no discoloration. I don't feel anything. We're decent. Decent. See the oiler. Splash oiler. All right, let's pull this piston out and then I'm gonna get on the interweb and order some parts. You guys excited? I know I am. You know it fell out. Let's not fudge this up here, pal. It's like giving birth. Come on, man. Right <laughs> Yours was in seven pieces. No, it wasn't. Not the top half. And easy. Yeah. Welp. The long and the short of it is greasy handprints on everything. Um, there's a little bit of a lip here. I do have some hones. I bet I could hone this out. Or I won't. I'll let the file to fit piston rings. That's what we're going to do. Everything looks good. Honestly, I, I'm pretty happy. There's not any mechanical damage. Doesn't appear to be any excessive wear. Don't get any movement there. Everything's nice and free. Uh, I'm going to go on the internet and see what I can see. All right. All right, thanks for watching. Gotta go, gotta run.